Hey everyone, it's me again, and uh, I'm not really doing gameplay commentary here. I'm just going to talk about, you know, some random crap, more or less. But uh, while I'm babbling, you get the joy of watching me play uh, a couple tanks. Uh, I'm going to start with the, uh, going to start with the Super Pershing here, which is actually a tank that I don't like. <laughs> so uh, I'm, just, I think I'm just going to torture myself. Um, my in, my intent here is um, I want this this super Persian crew is just sitting here basically being useless. I'm almost done with sixth sense on the dang thing, so I'm thinking if I play it enough, I'll finish off with sixth sense, and then I'm thinking of buying one of the uh, middle tier um, American medium tanks. I'm th I'm thinking I'm leaning towards either the T20 or the Pershing to be totally honest. So. Uh, that means that when when I can tolerate it, I'll slog through a few games at a time with Super Pershing here. So that's why I'm going to play this. Um, I'm going to just touch base on a couple other things while I go on here. Uh, I was surprised if you if you saw in the M48A1 patent video that I made earlier. I was actually really surprised when I noticed that I had uh, 50 subscribers. I'm not going to lie. The last time I checked, I had six. <laughs> so I don't know where that came, where 50 came from. Um, I'll be the first. I'll be the first to say I'm not the greatest player at this game, and most of my information or experience comes from uh, first-hand knowledge, namely in-game playing. Um, there, I often, I do often research uh, aspects of tanks, though, uh, such as you know armor values, penetration values, and I'll go on to the World of Tanks guru and look at the armor modules and. You know where to shoot tanks to ammo rack them or kill their loaders or gunners or what have you. You know I, I do do that um, to a to a certain extent. Um, you know it, it, and I strongly recommend anybody do that. It'll help. Out. It, things doing your own research helps out immensely with your in-game knowledge, and that can just help out with your in-game performance. Uh, immensely as well. Of course, I will always suggest that the best thing to do is go on the World of Tanks forums, uh, World of Tanks Xbox 360 forums, and you know just pick people's brains. So long as you're not a jackass, and uh, you know you don't go in there saying how is this possible? That that's not right. This game's broken, and you know acting like a douchebag. You can ask the newbiest of the newbie questions. You know I did. <laughs> I, I've been there. And people will help you out. You know, they will give you, they will give you advice and suggestions. And they can, and you know, well, there's several people that will often say, you know, we can platoon up and we can play this sa this same tank that, together that you're struggling with. And maybe you'll get an idea of how you can, you know, how you can play it by playing with me or you know, watching me play it. You know, that kind of that kind of a deal. It's a really, really powerful tool at your at your disposal. So I strongly recommend. That that's uh, that you utilize that to the best of your ability. You know, it's uh, it's there to be used, and there's you know a lot of nice people on there. Uh, as always, it's a forum, so you'll have your trolls, but those can be uh, those can be sorted out pretty quickly <laughs> once you figure them out. So um, I was just gonna discuss a couple things here. Um, um I I've been uploading just plain old gameplay videos with no commentary. Um, they're a lot easier to do than the commentary videos because with the commentary videos. I have to uh, compile some games that I am, you know, content with. Not they don't have to be good games, but just ones where I last, where I don't die in the first, you know, two minutes in in the game. And that that happens way to me. That happens to me way more than I'd like, to be totally honest. So I just cut those out and I say screw it. But uh, you know, uh, three or four good games where I can mock up uh, about 20 minutes or even 30 minutes of gameplay so once that's done then I rent then I render it into a video and then and that process takes at least a half an hour so it'll usually take anywhere between 20 at least 20 to 30 minutes or sometimes an hour just to put the games together for one and then I got to render it which will take at least a half an hour uh, two and then I got to watch the video while talking about it <laughs> so there's that takes another minimum half hour, so it's fairly time consuming. And um, what with uh, what with things going on uh, all the time, and the fact that, I, like I said, I would much rather be playing World of Tanks than uh, making videos on it. It's a little uh, it's a little tricky to do, but 
I'll chalk that up to partially to me being, you know, basically just lazy. But I, I will always try to do what I can to, you know, try and be somewhat informative and help people out with their games and, you know, decide on uh, tank lines that they want to go down and things like that. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll do, I'll do what I can where I can. I'm not gonna, but you know, there's, there's a lot of tanks that I won't even cover whatsoever because I have no interest in. I actually have no interest in playing any playing much of anything outside of medium tanks and uh, some artillery. To be totally honest, if anybody was actually to look at my uh, statistics page, I think I have less than 250 games in tank destroyers total, and um, I free XP'd to the Death Star and to the to the Waffle Dragon, the uh, Waffen Tracker off E100. I free XP'd to both of those just for the sake of having them. I rarely play them. <laughs> they're they're there just to you know jump in and have a good time and, you know, ruin people's days and have a laugh about them with some friends when we feel like, you know, making a really a major douchebag platoon. You've seen them, you know, uh, five people in a T-110E3 platoon. Like, those those are just the worst of the worst. You're, you know, a five-person E-50M platoon can be pretty gnarly, but uh, five people in, you know, Death Stars or Waffles is just... <laughs> it's, it's just pretty retarded, so... Um, so that being said, I have those. Uh, the only heavy tank that I have right now is the Tier 10 uh, British Heavy. And uh, I don't really play that heck of a lot. It was my first Tier 10. It was my first... Uh, it was the first tank I really liked. Um, I didn't really get a feel for the Carnivon until after I'd played some, you know, 250, 300 games with it. Then I started to actually appreciate it a lot better. And while I liked the Conqueror, I just could not make it work for me. I sucked donkey dick in that tank seriously so I got rid of those and I traded them for some of the uh, what's it called the mediums the British mediums namely the Comet and the Centurion 7-1 just so that I had something to play at tier 9 with you know if anybody's were doing some grinding at tier 9 or whatever or some you know some of the later tiers like 7 and 8 I typically play the play the Comet when my friends are playing tier 7 and 8 I'm totally okay with being thrown, being in a tier eight game with the Comet. That's a great tank, and uh, I can, I can do pretty well in it. So I'm comfortable with that. So um, that being said, I am strongly a medium tank player. It's just what I came to appreciate after getting the E50M, you know, way back when, and it's now my most played tank. And I basically base my opinion of pretty much every other tank off of, you know, how does this feel compared to the E50M? Right? Is it maneuverable enough to where I can go to where I'm needed, and uh, you know, is the gun punchy enough to where I can put some shots um, downrange if needed from a distance? Uh, is it powerful enough to where people will think twice about just uh, just pump rushing me, or you know, that kind of stuff? Does it have decent enough armor where I can uh, I can just troll either troll bounce some shots or even have my tracks absorb some shots, you know? with some side scraping or you know what have you you know there's a lot of things that I that I weigh in on it um, but uh, you know I'm I'm largely a medium tank player uh, I probably won't really go into any specific reviews about uh, a lot of tanks that are quite popular I actually have no intention to ever get an E100 a lot of people have one I have no intention of getting one uh, ever <laughs> to be totally honest so uh, that's not something that'll be that'll be coming up here. I I try to just I try to shy away from the popular stuff, the common stuff. It's something that kind of grew on me as I played Mass Effect 3 multiplayer for you know over two years. Uh, a lot of people like to run around. Um, you know when the game first came out, there were only four characters for the six classes in Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. You know a lot of people would uh, hate on one specific class and or a, a specific character for a specific class. And the one that comes to, to, mo to mind the most was the uh, the Drell Vanguard. People were always saying, oh, the Drell Vanguard is the worst character. He's terrible, blah, blah, blah. I played the crap out of that guy and got really good with him in the first, you know, two months after the game came out and just amazed teammates, random teammates, all the time by playing the Drell Vanguard and doing extremely well. So I, that's how I feel with uh, World of Tanks, you know. I, I strive to play... Um, mediums, they are they're, they're, they're the underplayed class, especially in the higher tiers, and uh, I'm not going to say underappreciated, I'm going to say a couple of the medium tanks themselves are underappreciated, like the 
FV4202. That is a great tank. The M48 Patton, that is also a great tank. Uh, but they, they're just often underappreciated because, you know, you'll hear it in game chat and I'll, uh, you'll see it on the forums uh, as well. Some people will just say, you know, it's, it's, it, they won't say it's the worst it's the worst tank of this tier of the uh, uh, is the worst tank of its class at the, at its tier. They'll straight up say this tank is bad, and you know, I, that just kind of makes me scratch my head. So I figure, what makes it so bad? You know, I got to try this now. So that's part of the that's part of the reason why I do that. But also, you know, medium tanks, uh, the the good the good medium tankers they go where they're needed. And the medium tanks can do it all. It's like it's like the training video says. You're the Swiss Army knife of the tank class. You can you can pretty much do everything. You can attack from long range where needed. You can you can side scrape moderately where uh, where wherever possible uh, to help hold down a flank. Uh, you know you can reposition to uh, flank an enemy um, flank an enemy position. Uh, so on and so forth, and it's it's just a, such a handy thing to have on the battlefield. Back in the day when the game was still pretty pretty new, uh, when I was playing high tiers in the Carnival, on the Conqueror, and the 215B, I'm not kidding. The game. Some people say it's bad now, but the game back then was literally littered with nothing but tank destroyers and heavy tanks. You saw the odd medium tank, and chances are it was an M48 Patton. Or well, anything down that American line. So it's uh, I don't know. I I just find it I just find it fun playing medium tanks. I can try other things. The, the the real big turnoff for me for tank destroyers in particular is a lot of them are slow, and um, some of them have well, they all have pretty dang good guns, and some of them have ridiculous armor. But the big thing is you know when when you lose mobility and when you lose the the uh when you lose a turret when you don't have a turret that's just a that's a certain level of versatility that i feel is lost and it, it strongly just does not appeal to me and that's a large reason why i'm not into tank destroyers and with the heavy tanks um i would say the the only other uh, tier 10 heavy tank that strongly appeals to me right now it would be the T110 E5. Problem is everybody mother, everybody and their mother has one of those. <laughs> so that's turning it off for me. Chances are down the road I probably will get one. Um, I can tell you right now I will never have an E100. Does not interest me one bit. I will definitely never have a mouse. That's almost as bad. <laughs> Um, there's a, but there's, you know, there's a lot of heavy tanks and there's a lot of, uh, tank destroyers at the higher tiers that just don't interest me one bit. Uh, the Object 268 line is the one that interests me the most out of the, out of the tank destroyers right now because it looks like, uh, you know, it looks like with effective, if you're effectively using their, their mobility and their camo, you know, you can, you can actually be a pretty effective contributor to the team and that's what interests me about them is that they uh, you know they don't have a turret which will be a, is, is a bit of a turnoff for me but they get pretty powerful guns um, for their tier like pretty much the whole lineup pretty much uh, they're fairly they're quite mobile and they have good camo ratings and those all kind of combine and you know that, that kind of piques my interest so somewhere down the road I may actually grind out the object 268 line so that'll be something I can throw together in a nice little a, a short little series kinda like what I did with the bat chat line but I'll actually you know I'll actually grind the thing not free XP the whole thing and then go back and buy previous tanks or what have you so <laughs> um, that being said uh, so you know just things to look forward to um, so uh, note that I have, pretty, for the last little bit here, I have uploaded a, a, a one video pretty much every night. Uh, if that changes, uh, don't be shocked. Uh, the next little bit here at work in particular is going to be a little busy. I'm going to have to be going in a little early, um, well, for a couple days. And then I'll have to be staying late as well just to make sure that early in the morning goes well. So uh, if you don't, if nothing comes up after a day, <laughs> don't panic. Um, 
and you know I'll try to I'll do everything I can to to maintain uh, my personal standard of excellence. I want to upload quality videos that can provide some level of entertainment as well as education to a certain degree for regard regarding World of Tanks. You know, um, I would say the the least educational video for World of Tanks that I have since uploaded is the, the one about the Kenny Loggins challenge because there isn't the only thing it really teaches you is just how to do the Kenny Loggins challenge. That's about it. <laughs> Beyond that, you can basically you basically just watch uh, tank gameplay. So, uh, for the next little while here, there will be I'll I will be up, um, uploading additional gameplay for um, medium tanks in particular that I've already uploaded videos of. So there will be quote unquote duplicates of those. Um, hopefully they're uh, they're helpful and whatnot. Um, the r part of the reason I'm pl I played the Super Pershing is it's a crew that I feel is just going to waste. So. I'm going to work on the crew, finish the next skill, which is six cents, uh, which I feel is essential to medium tanks. And then I'm going to put that crew in either the T-20 or the Pershing medium tank. So that way I will have a medium tank for every tier, pretty much. I have the Cromwell for tier six, I have the Comet for tier seven, and I also play it in tier eight. Um, I'll have the T-20 or the Pershing for tier eight as well. I've got, I kept the Centurion 7-1 for uh, tier nine, even though I dislike the tank. I can, I can make it work pretty well. And I have every tier 10 medium, so I'll ba I will basically have a medium tank for every tier. For tier 5, I have the Panzer 5-4 if I ever want to whip that thing out, even though I can't stand playing it anymore. <laughs> so, what have you. Um, so, you know, just a long story short, uh, explanation of uh, why I go about you know, uh, doing what I'm doing. I'm going to basically just do the same thing. Uh, if there are tanks that I don't have that uh, some of you strongly feel that, uh, you know, would like some gameplay footage of, uh, you know, let me know. I will consider it, uh, depending on what the tank is and how I feel about it. I, I might either grind for it or pick it up. Uh, that being said, I, I'm considering, you know, when I go down the uh, American Heavy line, which will be, you know, quite a ways in the future, or the Object 268 line, again, that'll be quite a ways in the future. I'll probably keep at least one of the middle tier tanks along the way too, just so that I have stuff to play at the lower tiers. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, uh, enough of my rambling. I'm sure you're sick of me now, so I'll let you guys go. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, 50 subscribers, I'm surprised. You know, <laughs> that's... That's shocking, considering last I checked I had six, so. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for putting up with me, and I uh, hope to see you in the future. You guys have a good night. Take care.